Yeah, go ahead and wind it. I'm not gonna actually wind it though, it's just gonna... Mm -hmm. Around the nail. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now wind backwards. And then the bar hits the end, and then this one keeps going. Cool. Once that's set, lock it with this bar. And then we use zip dies and hot glue to do that. And then wing nut breaking, so we designed this little ball socket, ball socket thing that we can change our steering with. Here, just get a, yeah. Oh yeah, it doesn't right matter if we change it anymore. Yeah, because just untighten that screw and you could change the steering back and forth like this. And Not that much, because yeah. tiny bit goes a long way. Yep, and we just used, we drilled out the holes in the wheels to make them wider. Uh, we had a threaded rod going into like a little ball bearing there, I don't know if you can see, um, but that's how it was designed. And there was just a ball socket up into that red portion of the thing there. That hole's unnecessary, I don't know why we kept that there. Um, and then the threaded rod would spin as it ran, and it would move forward like so. And once it ran backwards, here, let's run it forwards a few times. Oh, come on, let's, let's just... Moving yeah. forward, and moving forward, forward, and then, and then let's say once it hits, it hits the cup point, cup point, and then starts moving starts backwards, moving back and hooked. hits that nail, and it breaks. And yeah, and obviously this would be untouched. So. And then, see, that's how we extended our distance right there. Both of them would swing up at the same time for a triangle. And yeah.